Welcome back to another exciting episode of Cyber Defense TV. I'm your host, Gary Malewski, and the publisher of Cyber Defense Magazine. My special guest sitting in the cyber hot seat today is Guido Ronchetti. He's the Chief Technology Officer of XTN Cognitive Security. Guido, welcome. Hello, Gary. Hello, everybody. So tell me, XTN is a unique and different kind of cybersecurity company. What kind of solution are you and what kind of threats are you dealing with? So XTN offers what we call a cognitive security platform. Our focus is to have an holistic view about fraud prevention and endpoint threat detection. So what we have done during the years, starting from our experience in banking sector, is to build a very strong and very complete uh, solution that covers the different aspects that could impact from a fraud perspective. Now, is this something that you embed in a mobile banking app or is this in the cloud for banks? How do you offer the solution? So the platform is composed of three different products. The first one and the centerpiece of the platform is called Smash and is a, a transaction monitoring solution. So it's about analyzing the business data content of a transaction, a different kind of transaction, banking, payment, or any kind of critical uh, kind of interaction between a user and a company. Uh, the second element of the platform is called SIP, and SIP is about uh, endpoint threat detection. And in that product, we have two branches, one focuses on web browser and the other one focuses on mobile apps. So on SIP, we collect hundreds of, of parameters inside the endpoint, and we analyze them using machine learning in order to have a full picture of the risk of providing a service inside a specific uh, endpoint device. Are you finding certain kinds of threats coming from various countries in the form of trustworthy applications? Uh, yeah, so we are seeing, uh, uh, so, sorry about that. Um, no, no. What, what do you mean in that sense? Uh, no, this okay. is good. So let me give you an example. Yeah. I'm doing my mobile e-commerce, I'm doing my mobile banking, and I install a third-party emoji keyboard. Okay. It just so happens to be a keyboard that's sending some information out of my phone to other countries. Okay, yeah. A keylogger. But I, the user, get all these free emojis, so I trusted it. Do you help uh, the yeah. consumer or do you help <laughs> the bank who sold the mobile banking app to this? So we, we help the bank having a, a full picture of the consumer that is using their apps. So in that particular environment, uh, we are able to detect a malevolent keyboard or a malware that is doing overlay attack over the app or any kind of uh, uh, injection inside the, the app itself that could modify the behavior of the app. And when this kind of interaction between the outside system and the app becomes dangerous for the service of our customers, so of the bank or the automotive vendor, uh, we alert them and we are able to give them in real time a full risk picture of what is going on. So if the user is interacting with a keyboard that is not secure, we will be able, before they go on responding to the request of their own end user, to give them a score that is saying is a high risk because there is some kind of interaction from the outside that is malevolent. So the, the critical information about the user could be uh, still or could be uh, modify the behavior of the app itself. Now, Guido, do you offer this as a, a wrapper, or is this a little library, or is this a redirect of traffic through the cloud? So on, on the web uh, browser side, we offer a JavaScript, mm -hmm. a snippet of code that have to be inserted inside the web app of the customer. Mm -hmm. On the mobile side, we offer an SDK that have to be linked inside the mobile app of the customer. Uh, we, we do not need to wrap the app and we do not need any kind of additional permission or MDM or MAM on board of the device. So we typically address consumer facing app. So we are able to, to be distributed through official stores without any kind of limitation. What kind of uh, platforms when you say mobile? Uh, Android, iOS, the whole shebang? So we, we are covering uh, iOS, Android, uh, Windows Phone 10. Even it's not so not uh, popular, uh, but not it so works popular. well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> That's true. And, and even some uh, um, cross-platform uh, technologies like, like Cordova, uh, for example, that are quite popular, in, uh, especially in banking sector. That sounds great. And just to wrap up, on the risk side, uh, where we're doing a lot of transactions, are you talking about the SWIFT payment gateway, the future with the Ripple network, or are you talking about the structured data passing between networks? So our solution is very flexible and could cover 
most of the channel that typically the bank see as a transaction channels. So we are covering online banking, mobile banking, we are covering Swift payment channel, we are covering e-commerce uh, transactions and so on. So it is a very flexible approach from the, the transaction monitoring side and we are able to, to correlate information coming from different channels in the same time. So having a, a very complete picture of which are the risks that are going on maybe on the same end user from different channels at the same time. This sounds great. Very lightweight solution, very powerful solution. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, where can we send our viewers who might be interested in learning more? So we have a website that, that is uh, xdnlab.com and uh, uh, we have a full uh, detailed description of all the products and uh, that, that that's the best place where to find information. So, we we are typically also present at most of the events around the world about security. So uh, this could be another opportunity to meet us uh, directly. Okay, so people can find you online. Our viewers can go to xtnlab.com and come to some of the top cybersecurity shows and meet Guido and the team. We had a great cyber hot seat today. Learn more about his company and protect your mobile and web experience as well as managing the risk from fraud. Thank you again and tune in next time for an exciting episode of Cyber Defense TV.